In this movie, you'll learn how to make a variety of different graphs with tinker plots. We'll be looking at the survey data from 82 high school students. We have information about their gender, school, and height. Let's look at money on you, the amount of money students were carrying on them when they took the survey. Let's drag to separate and make five bins. When we stack these, we get a stacked dot plot. We can determine how many students are in each bin by clicking the count button. There are 61 students who had less than $20 on them, and from $20 to about $40, there were 12 students. The percent button shows the percentage of students in each bin. So 74% of the students had under $20. You might think that cases in each bin are ordered in value from left to right, but they're not. For example, this case is a student with $10, while the case to its right is a student with only $2. To get the cases displayed over their exact values on the axis, fully separate them by pulling a case all the way to the right. Now you can see pretty well exactly how much money each student was carrying. So this student had $13 and is therefore a little further to the right than this student who had only $10. Let's change the icon style from circle icon to value bars. Now each student is represented by a bar, and the more money a student has, the longer the bar. We can order the bars according to their length by pressing this order button. Let's return to the graph we started by changing the icon style back to circle icon. Notice how the bars shrink to their endpoints. When we turn stack back on, we're back to the fully separated stacked dot plot we started with. Drag a case to the left to make bins again. Change the icon style to fuse rectangular. This gives us a histogram. In a histogram, each case is as thick as the bin. We can change the number of bins by dragging cases to the left or right. Or we can drag the bin line to make the bins wider or narrower. Adjusting the bin sizes can help us notice different things about the data. Let's mix the cases up. Click here in the data cards to look at curfew. Add a color key to show what the colors mean. The green circles are students with no curfew, and the blue circles are students with a curfew. Let's bring all the cases together by changing the icon style to Fuse Circular. Now we get a pie graph, where each case is shaped as a pie wedge. To get a sense of the percentage of students with a curfew, let's order the cases. It looks like two-thirds of the students have a curfew. We might ask if boys are more likely than girls to have a curfew. To see what these data say, let's separate by gender to make two pies. Comparing the amount of blue in each pie, it seems, in fact, that a slightly higher percentage of the girls have a curfew. We've only shown you a few of the graphs you can make with Tinkerplots. You can discover many more just by experimenting.